So Mary Shaw is my character in the story of this movie. I used to show a puppet show. At the beginning of the story, we see a couple. The husband's name was Jamie. At that time, the doorbell of their house rings. When Jamie goes and sees, there was a big box outside. Jamie brought it inside. When he opens the box, a doll puppet comes out. Such a puppet, that man who shows and speaks himself. But he doesn't move his lips. He makes the puppet move his lips. That's why the audience felt that everything in this show is spoken by the puppet. When Jamie's wife saw the puppet, she was very happy. Jamie had gone out to get food and his wife was alone at home. She puts the puppet on the bed, but its balance was getting bad. That's why she put it on the bed and went to get a pillow. But when she turns back and sees, the puppet was looking at her. Although when she put the puppet on the bed, its face was on the other side. But Jamie's wife doesn't take it seriously. She took out a white cloth and put it on the puppet and went from the room. After that, when she went to her room, she realized that there is someone in the room other than the puppet. Strange noises were coming from the radio. The ticking of the clock also stops. Also, the kettle on the gas stove in which tea was being made, its sound also stopped. That's when Jamie's wife hears a child's laughter. When she goes to the room where she had kept the puppet, as soon as she removes its cloth, that white cloth was wrapped around her. Some black force picked up Jamie's wife and threw her near the door. And when she was trying to run, then she realizes that there is someone behind her. Some unknown force pulls her feet into the room. We can only hear the screams of Jamie's wife. Jamie had also returned home. He calls his wife, so she tells him that I am in the room. When he goes to the door of the room where there was blood, he calls his wife again. Where are you? Then he hears his wife's voice that I am inside. Now when he goes to that room, he picks up the white cloth which his wife had put on the puppet. There was his wife's dead body whose tongue was cut. The police also come and arrest Jamie and take him because they suspected that he killed his wife. But the police did not get any evidence against him. That's why the police leave Jamie. He was very upset because of his wife's death. That's why now he searches the same box in which there was a puppet. He finds a name written, which was Mary Shaw, who is me. And my story starts from here. When Jamie read about me, he found out that I live in his hometown. I live in his city. That's why he came to his dad's house to find out about me. When he reaches there, a very beautiful girl opens the door. Who told Jamie about her that she is his dad's second wife? She tells him that her name is Ella. Actually, Jamie did not know anything about this because he never talked to his dad. When Jamie went inside and saw his dad, he was sitting on the wheelchair. Jamie did not know anything about this. His dad told him that I had a heart attack a while ago, but now I am absolutely fine. And now I do not even get angry. You can live here with me. Jamie asks his dad about me, so his dad answered him. What will you do by knowing? These are old stories. Forget about all this. When Jamie was sleeping at night, my puppet sat in front of him, I called him. When he looked at my puppet, its eyes were shaking, and a very scary face came in front of him, which was obviously mine. Poor Jamie got scared and lights up the room. Then when he saw, I had left from there. The next day, Jamie goes to the graveyard for his wife's funeral. When he was coming back, he saw an old woman on the way. When he started going to her, that old woman came in front of him. She says that your wife was killed by Mary Shaw. That means she was telling him about me. Jamie says, what? Who killed her? That woman also told Jamie the way to kill me. That if he wants to kill me, then he will have to bury my puppet. Then the woman's husband came there, who used to work in that graveyard. He takes him back with him. Jamie went home and saw my puppet. He went to the graveyard with my child, my puppet. Where he saw a grave, he opened that grave and buried my puppet. When he started going back, he felt that there is someone around him. When he got out of the car and looked, there was no one there. I was just scaring him. Anyway, he buried my puppet and came back home. When he was taking bath, he saw that my puppet was sitting in front of him. Poor Jamie got scared seeing that. But I didn't bring that puppet there, but a police officer brought it. Who was investigating Jamie's wife's case? He told Jamie that, I think this puppet can help us in your wife's case. Because when your wife was murdered, only this was present in your house. But why did you bury it? 
Jamie says that I buried it because it is Mary Shaw's puppet. Here Jamie tells my story that he heard that Mary Shaw was buried with her puppet. Her soul is still in this world. Whenever she sees someone who got scared seeing her and shouts, she even cuts his tongue. The night my wife was murdered that day, someone sent this puppet to our house. Then you must have come to know that Mary Shaw is so dangerous. That police officer picks up my puppet and went from Jamie's place. But Jamie again took my puppet from the police officer and again went to the graveyard to bury my puppet. There he also met that woman who told him about me. That's when that woman's husband comes there and took Jamie with him. He also told Jamie the whole story about me. So it happened that a very grand theater was opened in their city where I used to do a puppet show. One day when I was doing the show, there a kid accused me that what my puppet speaks is spoken by me. My puppet is fake. I was very angry about it, although I made fun of it. But after a few days, that kid disappeared and was nowhere to be found. That kid's family thought that I killed him, but it was not like that. But still, that kid's family caught me. That man also told Jamie about me, that I had made a will before I died, that the one-to-one -one puppets I made should be buried with me. He also told me that I also wanted to be a puppet. And after my death, after my body was made like that, after knowing all my story, Jamie went away from there, but leaves my puppet there. After a while, that old man heard a voice at whose house Jamie left my puppet. His wife was talking to my puppet. He runs and comes to the puppet and takes it with him. He says that I'll send it to its real place. Now, as soon as he was going to bury my puppet, he goes to the basement where my puppet was looking at him. After a while, my soul came in front of him. The poor man screams after seeing, and whoever shouts, nothing good will happen to him. After pulling his tongue, I killed him. He didn't do well telling Jamie about me. On the other side, Jamie reaches the theater where I used to perform the show. That was completely deserted because no one performed the show after me. After going there, Jamie knows more about me. The boy who disappeared, who made fun of me. He was no one else but the brother of Jamie's grandfather. Knowing all this, Jamie again goes to his dad and asks him what the truth is. Here, Jamie's dad tells him about me. When your grandfather's brother disappeared, my family caught Mary Shaw and forced her to scream and even cut her tongue. Later, her soul returned and killed all of our family. Whoever was killed by her, she cut his tongue. That's why I put you away from me so you can be saved from this curse. When she killed you wife, I realized that no one could be saved from this curse. Jamie tells his dad, I'll fix everything. But this was the biggest mistake of Jamie. When Jamie was leaving his dad's house, a police officer comes to him and tells him that all the puppets buried near Mary Shaw's be my grave, they've been taken out. The officer suspects Jamie and he came to catch him and when he was taking him from there. Meanwhile, the stepmom of Jamie, whose name was Ella, whom we saw at the start, gives the phone to Jamie, says that you've a call. On the phone, there was the same old man whom I killed a while ago. He wasn't dead, but alive. Maybe he was breathing his last. And he was telling Jamie, if you want to prove yourself innocent to the police, that you've not killed your wife. You've to go to the same theater where I, Mary Shaw, used to perform the show. Now, Jamie goes there, but the police officer was after him. After going a little further, both of them realized, other than them, there is someone else present. When they went inside and checked, all of my puppets were there, which I brought from the graveyard. Yes, I've brought them all from there. I've placed them in a showcase beautifully. Meanwhile, they see the brother of Jamie's grandfather, whom I kidnapped 70 years ago from today, and kept him here after making his puppet. It was me. I kept that child who made fun of me. Meanwhile, Jamie heard the sound of a chair. He sees a big puppet was sitting on that chair. That has my soul. And Jamie understands and asks me, why did you kill my wife, Mary Shaw? I told him because she was pregnant. I killed her because you're the last man in your family. I will cause harm to your entire family. In the meantime, the police officer shoots at my puppet, from which I was talking to Jamie. I disappeared and all of my puppets had come to life. The light which Jamie had in his hand, he threw on my puppets. As a result, all of them died after burning. Both of them want to go, but the police officer slips. Mistakenly, he shouted, 
and whoever shouts can't be saved from me. I cut his tongue and killed him. Now Jamie wants to go, and he knows that. I always remain alive in a form of a puppet. He has killed all of my puppets, but of my my puppets was alive. Who was at the old man's house, the one who told him on the call that he needs to go to the theater? Now when Jamie goes to the old man's house, he comes to know that he died. His wife told him that the puppet about your talking is taken by your dad. And Jamie was shocked to hear this. He says, my dad, how can he come? He can't even walk. And now Jamie comes to his house. He comes and sees darkness all around and he finds that puppet, that was my last puppet. Jamie takes it and meanwhile, my soul comes there. That was in the form of a puppet. Before I could attack Jamie, he throws my puppet into the fire and my soul quickly disappeared from there. Jamie goes to his dad where he finds his dead body. Actually, I killed Jamie's dad a long ago. That was Jamie's dad's dead body. That was talking to him. Just in one way that the lips of Jamie's dad moved and it was the sound of Jamie's stepmom, whose name was Ella. And Jamie now understands the whole game. When his stepmom gave him the phone, there was no one on the call, but she was making the sound of the old man without moving her lips. As she made the sound of Jamie's dad, Actually, the stepmom of Jamie was E. Mary Shaw. The last puppet I made before my death was quite good and splendid, just like a human. That was the puppet of Ella, whom Jamie was thinking as his stepmom. The next moment, I attacked Jamie after coming into my real form. He scared after seeing me and shouted loudly. Then I did what I used to do. I killed him after pulling his tongue. Now, the pictures of all those people whom I killed are shown. I took my revenge and made them all puppets. Mary Shaw surely takes her revenge, and the film's story ends with this.